Mike's on, y'all's. Even Jay Lucky. It's out. Mike's on, Wiener's out. I don't know. She did something. She's doing something on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, something. Ah. Oh, welcome, everybody. It's another episode of Wrestling Dorks Live. I am John, joined as always to my left by the talker of talking, Sam, with the microphone problems. Welcome to the show. It's great to be here. That thing does stretch, so there you, can, go. you can... It's good now. You can even stretch it more. Nah, I, I don't want good. you to feel like you have to... I've, I've been trying, obviously, different... Yeah, it'll, it'll go all the way, baby. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, look at that. Yeah. It should be right in your face. Oh, That's yeah. good. All right. Right in my face. And to eyes. Sam's... Oh, he likes it. It's right in his face. To Sam's left is J. Lucky Sunshine. Hello. Oh, she's sunshiny today. Oh, she's oh. Although a second before you got here, she was yawning. So yeah. well, we won't have Jay Lucky for all that long. It is not. It is uh, nine forty-five. It's yeah, and she is a year older than she was the last time we broadcasted. Right. Fifty-six. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the fifth mid-fifties club, there, Jay Lucky. But she's mid-fifties. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, you effer. I didn't think she'd hear that because yeah, she, she was, was doing, doing phone. She was doing Thought anything we could else. Get some comments. Yeah, but yeah. Anyways. uh so we've been away for two weeks uh, since we broadcasted, and the reason we weren't here, the Luxter here over here turned uh, an age that I'm not going to say out loud, you but she had not. a birthday last Tuesday and took mm. her out for steak mm. dinner. Mm. I don't remember us ever missing a recording due to my birthday, but hey, you know. Well, I don't think me either, but uh, I you know. I think your birthdays have fallen on a Tuesday. Yeah. You just can't have a Tuesday birthday. That? Yeah. Don't have a Tuesday birthday, and you'll be good to go. So yeah, took her out for a steak dinner. Although the weekend before that, we the three of us parted it up, didn't we? We did. We we had alcohol. We did. You remember we did. that? You I remember, do that? remember that? Yeah. And the reason I got here late tonight is because we ran into people that we hung out with that Saturday night. Oh, so, okay. So you know who's that? The old uh, social butterfly over here can't just up and leave. She has to talk forever. As I'm standing there pulling my freaking brains out, but uh, Sanaya and Sandeep. They okay. were there at trivia. I guess they go there all the time. Apparently, okay. they said. But we've been there all the time. We've been there. We've, well, been, we've there. been there for a few weeks. Yeah. So, anyways, thank Turn you. Turn up the volume. Oh, you want to hear Mr. Mr. McMahon? McMahon's announcement? Oh, of course I do. I'm a wrestling dork. I, the fuck? <laughs> is the fucking remote? Am I sitting on it? It might be. One of you might be. You wouldn't even know it if you were. Shove so many things up there. Maybe if you didn't have the volume so low. Well, we're, I have to broadcast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stop swearing. <laughs> Jeez, don't be a cranky This is Vince McMahon, damn it. It's the main event at Mania he's talking about. Uh, yes. So we're about to find out about what's going on with Kofi. I, I think they'll dangle it a little longer and they'll do something else mean oh, to him here. on the windowsill. Oh, so, where you put it? I knew I put it somewhere. I'm not saying I'm not you, the one that lost it. I'm just saying out there. Go get it so you can maintain the your effort level of up. looking for it from you two was kids, piss take, poor. Take a, a lesson here. A real man always keeps the remote on the couch. Oh, our viewers just went up. <laughs> but yeah, so what's we Vince? Get a shot. Yeah, we did. She yeah. walked right towards the camera. Yeah. Uh, now we got a. <laughs> viewers are spiked. <laughs> oh. <The> two. <laughs> For those of you watching on Twitch, welcome. We're gonna, we're watching SmackDown with you the last half hour, last oh shit, thirteen minutes of SmackDown. What I save the day. I just want you all to know I. Oh, saved I just the got day. the V shot. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So Sam, what is what is Mr. McMahon announcing? I missed the beginning uh, of SmackDown. I was uh, okay. playing trivia. Uh, he said he had an announcement about for about Kofi Kingston's WrestleMania match. Oh. So what's it gonna be? What do you what do you? I think he might dick him around one more time right here. Really? I think he'll, he's going to face Daniel Bryan. Just I don't know if he's going to announce it here or not. Oh, okay. Yeah, because as we know, it's fast. Sam, I don't see you in hats very often. Yeah, it's freaking me out. That's the second day in a row that you wore a hat. Yeah. You wore it Sunday for the pay-per-view, too. Yeah, I wear hats. I don't usually see you're you getting, hats, You're getting the look of disapproval mm -hmm. from a girl that's not your girlfriend. Yeah. So what do you give a <laughs> shit? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if yeah, I yeah. got that look, that hat would have been burned by now. <laughs> but I'm not a big. I think I just not a. Hat you're not a hat girl. You don't like men in hats. 
I like girls in hats. Girls in hats is cute. Yeah. Me in hat. I, I no, admit. No, 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 no. You don't like me in hats. What? Do you? I have a picture of you in a hat as the background of my computer, you numbskull. Yeah, <laughs> yeah numbskull. Numbskull. <laughs> Breaking out an old school. Vince explaining his actions Sunday night when he tricked us into thinking. He did. We, he was we got all aroused and excited. Kind of looks like he's on his deathbed. He's just an old man. Yeah, he's in his what mid to late seventies. Mid seventies, I think. I mean, you're, you're not that. Look, you're gonna look worse I than that. I met somebody who was in their eighties today who looked way better. So you think you're gonna look better than Vince McMahon when you're seventy-five? Nice. I heard the New Day was pretty aggressive tonight. Mm -hmm. They beat the shit out of Rusev or something. They came out in the eight-man tag and cleared the entire ring. And then they took out Rusev and not. So they've had enough of Vince McMahon's blatant racism? Is that what they've had enough and of? They didn't mention that. Oh, they didn't? Hasn't been brought up yet? No. Oh, surprising. She so don't like hats. Oh. I think no. She's not a hat I don't think she does. I mean, and now she's convinced me that I look terrible in hats, too. Okay, yeah. Which yeah. I probably do look terrible in hats. I just look terrible. Yeah, you, yeah exactly. I just look terrible. So it's not the hats. Fault. So, yeah. No, it's hats. I don't blame the hat. <laughs> You think covering up part of your face would be? I know. Possible. I figure that's what you're going for tonight. Mm -hmm. You're like, well, I'm on a podcast. Might as well cover my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't want people to know about it. Yeah. There you go. What is that even? And the fans go wild for Kofi. Yep. Of course, they love him. I love Kofi. You didn't until this whole. Whoa. I keep picking Kofi to win. Big. He's got a beard. I had a beard on Saturday. That's not a beard. You saw. Five hours of facial hair growth is not a beard. That was a day and a half, man. <laughs> Whoa. I'm doing this new thing where I shave Friday morning before work, and then I don't shave again until, like, Sunday. You feel free, don't I you? I do. I feel like a new man. Like, I'm, like, like you should see me. I'm outside, like, chopping wood and shit. Like, I'm a, I'm a man's man, changing oil in cars and bending women over couches and stuff. Not this one. <laughs> Look, she's, not she this looked one. directly in the camera and said no. Oh, Vince. Whoa, Vince is pulling out the the full Mr. McMahon. <laughs> oh, I see what he's saying. Oh, my God. Vince McMahon thinks he's a god. Well, so anyways, if you're watching us live on Twitch, we don't usually have this long a silence, but Sam decided to eat and cover his face tonight for a podcast, you know. I'm watching SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. I know you don't watch wrestling. Yeah, but, yeah. Oh, I watch wrestling, buddy. How many hours did you watch last night? Did you watch oh, the whole thing? You yeah. fast-forwarded through the whole thing, didn't you? It's DVR. Well, why wouldn't I fast-forward? <laughs> well, we watched the whole thing. We're going to learn tonight what the fate of Kobe Kingston is. Jump in the chat and talk to us. Tell us what you think Kofi Kingston deserves to get. Sam's it monitor. Just jump in. We got a question. It says, can you tell John to shut the fuck up? Oh, wait, that's not in there. <laughs> oh, wait. This Tonight's show brought to you by some weird ass green drink from Wawa. What it's is a it? Version of a shamrock shake. It's probably awful. It's amazing, actually. I'm sure. It's just... I did see it on Facebook that it's supposed to be better than the shamrock shake. Thank you, Jay Lucky. It's probably not better than whatever Sheets would make. Thank you, Sheets, for being amazing. Sheets would serve you milk. Make a shamrock shake. Mm -hmm. Sheets would serve you milk that just turned green. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. Vince, just say what's true. Just be like, the only reason Kofi got any attention is because Mustafa was hurt. It's the fucking truth. Kofi was not Did meant to be in that elimination chamber match. Yes. Yeah. You have to you say it that? while you're twitching like McMahon does. Yeah. Kofi was not going to be in that spot. Okay. Mustafa Kofi, got hurt. Kofi, they put him in Kofi. because he could yeah. fly around they, too. They were chanting for Kofi. The initial segment tonight with Shane O'Mac out there. I, I behind them right They've now. got a, a a push that they weren't expecting, and that's why everything feels so th rushed and put together because they weren't expecting this. Exactly. He's got a point. Exactly. You're an upper mid Carter. But I enjoy watching him. 
He's one of those people that throws himself around. That was back really in the bad. day. Now he's like pushing forward. He was now. throwing himself around. That'd be funny if Vince was like, look at your chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's caved in. Damn it. <laughs> Is he going to headbutt him? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh. It's to go in with the new day. Kind of like Stevie Ray going in with Harlem Heat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We do have things to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. We got a bunch of stuff to talk about. We got a whole list of topics on the left hand side of your screen if you're watching live on Twitch. And we'll be getting to our new segment, which I'm excited to get to tonight. Our worst WrestleMania card challenge tournament. Yep. I'm excited. March Madness. March Madness is here, so I'm trying to take advantage of it. Ooh yeah. My uh, I was at work today, my boss was telling me the one guy they recently interviewed. We were talking about wrestling a little bit. Uh-huh. He knows, obviously, I'm a doji. You should talk. He said something. I said something. He's like, talk about that on your podcast. Um, I hate when people say that. But uh, <laughs> he said, yeah, the guy we talked to today, he said he's he's never flown before. I'm like, oh, really? He's like, but he's flying out to an event uh, off of wrestling. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, he's going to some event. He was saying something in Las Vegas. I'm like, Wow. That guy's a bigger wrestling fan pro- than probably me. He's oh, going he's going to all, double or nothing. Double or nothing. Wow. Yeah. So I said, if you hire him, I go, you all have a problem because we'll probably talk wrestling nonstop. <laughs> so he did hire him and fired me. So yeah, I was gonna say you'll be out. <laughs> There's only room for one wrestling dork here on this roster. I'm moving over, and I don't care if your foot's here. <sighs> so Kofi's. Pleading his case. So here's the thing. I mean, if you're a wrestling fan, you're watching this right now. So yeah, no, I agree. We usually get a lot more viewers after 10 o'clock. It's fine. I'm down with that. I just don't want it for the podcast listeners. I don't want it to be dead air. No, you could spend like three or four hours editing it maybe, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I try to edit it in two minutes so I can get upstairs, have naked time, and fall asleep. Is that what you guys have naked time? Naked time? This guy having naked time? Yeah, right. With his six shirts, he goes to four. Yeah. <laughs> That's naked to me. <laughs> baby. <laughs> There's only four layers between me and you right now. <laughs> well, five. She keeps the shirt on, too. Mm. Yeah. She's got to keep a shirt on. Your naked time doesn't seem like too much fun. It's more naked than I am right than we are right now, so... That, to me, is naked time. I actually do have two shirts on right now. Do you? Tank top and a... Oh, viewers spiked again. It well, was a tank top. I called him sh- Vince, not Mr. McMahon. Yeah. Um, uh, that's your job, idiot. Yeah, that's a... Sorry. Yeah, you signed up for this. Yeah. Missing jobs and birthdays, or... Sorry, you know what I mean. Missing... Weddings and birthdays. Two days ago, my son lost his first tooth. And I wasn't there to see the excitement on his face, the happiness on his face. But it's okay because you have money, so you gave him a lot from the tooth fairy. Yeah, he probably had FaceTime. I'm sure you could see it. Yeah. I'm sure he's more excited to see you on TV than to <laughs> lose the tooth. Trust me. Yes. It's like you know nothing about kids. It's like you know nothing about wrestlers or kids with famous dads. It's true. They would rather spend time with their famous dads. This is why kids always come out and talk after, you know, stuff goes on with their parents. I just wish he was around more. But he gets to see his dad on TV, though. It's not like his dad is some missing guy. Yeah, on like a business yeah, trip that's or something. The best. Right. Yeah. Yeah, on a, a business trip. Yep. Do not work on late at a grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> Again, ladies and gentlemen, jump into the chat. Sam, we're the only people that have said anything so far. Well, we got saw three viewers. We will get we'll get there. We'll get there after SmackDown ends, which about, it's in about a minute. Yeah, about what is Randy Orton doing here? Hmm. Randall, Keith, and uh, AJ had a good back and forth earlier tonight. Yeah, you said it's turning into like WWE versus Indies or mm-hmm. something. Wait a second. And that man. Joe. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, hold me. He's going to throw in hold me. the heels. Hold me. Oh, wait. Oh, 
great. And, and it's Shamoose, too. Wow. Uh, no, the bar. And then he stops. And Andre the Giant comes out. <laughs> Ew. Rowan. Rowan. Uh. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. So Kofi's going to face all. Oh, shit. Here they come. It's bad guys. Bad guys have stormed the ring. And then we're going to go. Com- I like commercial. how Rowan is the end baddie. Yeah, they're trying Does it mean, to... I guess because he's friends with, yeah. he's with Daniel Bryan? But... Yeah. Eh, you never know. Could be. So he definitely runs the gauntlet next week, He's right? going to have to, right? Yeah. yeah. He will. You think? He will. Which is ridiculous, but they're really building him up, and he's going to get the main event at Mania. And I call every match the main event at Mania. Well, especially since Daniel Bryan doesn't have an appoint- opponent yet. Uh, you know what I mean? It's not like they're going to name his opponent a week before. Th- like... Yeah, I'm, I'm calling three the main events of Mania, which I really think Ronda will be the actual main event. Yeah, unfortunately, which I need to talk about that. No, wow, unfortunately. Kofi, 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 Kofi. No. And the Maddie this, Rose, Maddie Rose, Maddie Cole. Yeah. Did not. Maddie Rose. Yeah, Maddie Rose. <laughs> <laughs> he did not. Fire off in here, but he didn't text me. Oh, that was a question. Okay, says, do we think Ambrose is really gone? I say no. I say yes. I say I hope not. <laughs> do you think he's gone or not? I, I hope not. <sighs> so I guess no because it's a there hope you not. Go. You hope not. All right, so she's saying no. I think no. He's gone. Only. I mean, the only reason I'm saying that. Did she just gurgle into the microphone? <laughs> the only reason I say that is because they're talking about it so much, and they usually don't announce, which is something new. To prove I watched Raw last night, and the Roman addressed it. So yeah. you got business to take care of wherever. Right. Um, no, you're right. It could. They announced him not re-signed, but I, I think he's gone. It absolutely and could be. That was a great main event last night. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Good, really good Your stuff. Boy. Yeah, Drew McIntyre. They're building him up to be the top bad guy, top De- big guy. Dean made him look like a million bucks. Yeah, he did. He always looks like a million bucks. You know what I mean? It's tall, brooding, muscular, chest hair. So I will text him, let him know that he needs to listen to the podcast to get his answer. Yeah, he can listen or maybe just go on Twitch. <laughs> I don't think he has Twitch. What? He has a phone, clearly. All it is is an app. You don't even have to sign up. Just have to get the app and search for wrestling dorks. John says no. He says you're stupid. He actually didn't say that, but I'm gonna assume he does. He's gonna. Everybody says I'm stupid. That's all right. Well, I'm just saying. Did I you notice not. I've got the shield behind you up there tonight? If you can't see it, because oh, yeah. your hat. And uh, for some reason, Roman is shirtless. Of course. These are Jen's Even toys. He's really the only one yeah. that wears that. These are Jen's toys, and of toys. course, <laughs> of course, Roman was shirtless, so she's like. Yeah, so if those are her toys. Are you trying to tell me they've been somewhere? gross you've got you've got a sick mind you fuck oh something i do not <laughs> so we've got some things to talk about sam came over for fast lane you were just here two days ago sitting on the same couch yeah we same. watched uh, the pay-per-view together yeah <laughs> blinded the poor guy uh, he wasn't even looking no yeah watched the pay-per-view i enjoyed it i thought it was actually pretty good it was thrown, yeah. see, it had a thrown together feeling but you it know wasn't, yeah it wasn't bad it was entertaining yeah entertaining that's a good word because that's exactly what it was entertaining and ronda rousey is the first topic i want to talk about she really is pissing me off i'm really tired of this i'm tired of this uh program the becky lynch charlotte ronda rousey thing even with all the awesome promos and everything it's like what's your problem i feel like it's just all over the place like it's and it's ronda's not only that all over the place. not only that but i'm i'm tired of seeing becky lynch with that crutch i'm tired of it well if you would watch mike then you would have seen her without it because did she, she yep Good. she got to the she walked out of the apron the crutch looked down it and threw it away thank god so the crutch is gone because she's uh, she's terrible at acting like she's on a crutch i think that was part of my hate so maybe i'll be back into it but you know what you won't be saying that if the fucking man came through the door right now <laughs> she would come over for naked time is what you're saying yeah, no, I don't know. I just, would. I just don't think, I just don't think it's as hot as people are saying. To be honest with you, I, I mean, it's the hottest feud right now, but that's not saying much. 
considering what's going on. I mean, does anyone give a shit about Lesnar and, and I do. You give a shit because it's Brock, but you, like I'm excited for it. Should be a good match. He puts the dick in contradiction, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I, the Ronda Becky, I mean, yeah, there's some things I don't want. I, I didn't need Ronda to become this heel via saying wrestling's fake nonstop. Yeah. Every single promo, she mentioned something, uh, this carny, whatever, and, and constantly. But I don't know. She, she's, she's good at being a heel because she's probably a dick in real life well you texted me some notes and you said that you feel like she's really her hate is really coming through in her promos. Yeah. like it's real hate yeah. maybe not the exact word she's saying but you can tell that she right. has that right 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 so i mean it, to me that's that's coming through strong and i think it's good i it's good when people can get the true feelings out there and and becky becky's gonna becky's gonna be such get such an ovation at mania it's gonna be such a huge pop it's gonna be exciting what did she call charlotte tonight Oh, she called uh, Charlotte. What did I text you? Plastic something. Plastic something. Plastic faced. Hold on. Let's see. I texted it to you. I, I it was. It was plastic faced dope. Yes. So that's horrible. That now she's just making fun of her face. That's okay. just mean. And they're. Um, I thought they were best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I believe they are. So they're probably just like, let's make some fucking money. I guess. If Charlotte was saying like. You know, I've been doing. I've been on top for four years. Yeah, it's all nice to be hot for a few months. I've been hot for four years, and then Becky fired right back at her and was like, uh, "Yeah, when you were on top for four years, where did you take the division? Nowhere. Nice. I'm here, and we're main event in Mania." <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe the main event in Mania. I still think it should be Balor and Lashley. It's main event Mania. Balor. Yeah. And Lash- Are they even facing each other? They probably will. He lost his title yeah. last night. I don't yeah. know if you saw that part. You probably yes, buzzed through I saw, it. I know. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you, you, Leo Rush. Yeah. The other thing you wanted to talk about, speak about Ronda Rousey, uh, Dana Brooke. Yes. You wanted to talk about her. Dana Brooke, hell of a job last night. I felt like that was coming from the, the heart, too. Yeah. Uh, the promo she gave. I did then tweet this morning because I wanted to see what you were saying. Like, some people don't even think it's Dana Brooke. They thought it was the, oh my the God, one really? person. Like they're like, well, they recast Dana Brooke, and I was like being serious. Um, she looks really good. Did she really? She toned up, thinned out. She looks really good. She looks like she looks like she's ready to compete. He has a differing opinion. Toned up, think? thinned out, toned. Up. She lost all her muscle. I think she. I think she's just like smaller because she lost all her muscle. Oh no, she lost her like arm muscle, but she still has the rest of her muscle. She, she her she's abs, just her legs, smaller. her arms she's... are smaller. Her arms aren't as manly as they were. We wouldn't Ooh. be the wrestling dorks if we weren't he, talking about people's bodies. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought she looked really good. I thought she looked good. She looked really whoa. good. Wait, yeah, here we go. Whoa. He's gonna bring up something. And... I mean, the, the poor woman, if she's watching, you know, just getting run down watching. here because a woman hates. Wait, no, I thought you were talking no. her up. She had muscle before, lots right. of muscle, but she had no skill. She wasn't quick. She wasn't right. like nimble. Well, how did she add skill? She didn't do it. Also, I we saw her just get beat up. She looks. She looked great out there. I thought. Did the hell did she do? She got dragged out by Ronda friggin' Rousey. It's wrong, but she looks good. Like, and she moved better. She moved quicker. You, you just don't like strong, she, powerful women. No, when she was strong and powerful, she was slow, and she looked. She looked weak. You mean when she would come girls. out on the stage and do that amazing flip she would do? Oh, she slow? did a flip. Ooh. <laughs> Wow, she did a fucking flip. Oh, well, now you got her upset now. Hope, I hope Jordan Grace don't ever come to WWE. You guys uh, yeah. hate on her. Yeah, let's not worry about thick. her. Yeah, but no, no, I don't care about thick as long as you have skill. She didn't have like now she moves. No, quicker. she she, she has a point. Better. She was not the best wrestler on that even roster by any means. Rain, like even when she walked, like, she walked better. I knew it. I no, can no, see no, by no, her. But even like before when she would try to like run down <laughs> the ring, she arms. barely ran. Like she actually has like. Moment, like I don't know, it's actually I don't know. I liked, I thought she looked really good. You, you just like people that are. I think it's funny muscular. that you said that pe- the people thought that she was recast because I honestly, not that I thought it was a different person, but I was like, she looked a lot different. Like even yeah, in her yeah. face. face, I thought her face looked a lot right. different. And she said it was because she's she wasn't wearing makeup. She wasn't wearing as much makeup, and she's lost weight, so her face isn't as fat. Oh, 
Hmm. Like chubby. She lost her like chubby cheeks and Right. I thought she looked really good. Hey, lose some more weight, fatty is what Jay Lucky's saying to Dana Brooke. No, she looked really good. <laughs> he can't take a compliment, can he? He just can't. No, you're compl- I'm he, she's complimenting I'm s- a woman and you're saying that she's terrible. Saying she down. was fat before. She, she was thick before and slower. She, she was, was quicker. Slower. We, I don't know how you can tell speed on somebody that walked no, out of the ring. She had got thrown. She, had, she just no, no, no. she even like slid no, no, no. in the, like, she had more muscular arms, but the rest of her, she had a lot of overhang out of her stuff. Overhang. Over oh. She's like a fitness model. No, not over her. Not over her wrestling pants. Oh man! Wow! All the, all the, the. Uh, I'm sorry, but she looks hate. great now. She oh. looks great. She looks hey, girls, if you're listening out there, starve yourselves. <laughs> no, and lose some weight, you, you fat slob. And maybe Jay Lucky will I appreciate tell you. She's toned up. She's toned up a lot. I just think she's she's lost. She has lost weight. She's lost weight. So but she's, she's lost a lot of muscle up. too. No, but she's maintained a lot of her muscle. I think she looks like a small, smaller human being. Yes. Well, I think she looks good. She that. might. Maybe she was on roids before. I don't so know. you don't think she looks better now than she did before? You mean more attractive? Yes. You're saying no, or, better in the ring too. We're, we well, were. T- I think we're talking. I, I thought you. I yes, dude. I think I wouldn't be more attractive or now. Me personally, yes. There you go. She's saying she looks better in the ring. I don't know how we. She didn't have a match. She got beat up. I thought in she thirty looked, seconds. I know, but I thought. But she like, even like flipped over better. And yeah, that. I was gonna say her movements like they were more quick, and I don't yeah. know. She to me, she moved quicker. I don't just everything. You know what's crazy? You know, I noticed lost. Did, Kevin Owens is way thinner than he was before. It's crazy, and not because of what I. I just happened to watch. I was watching an old that arm tattoo. Does it? Yeah, it, it could. <laughs> but I was watching an old thing of him, and he just was so much. Big, but he still could move then. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's pretty incredible. I thought she got killed by the way last night, Dana Brooke, on that. She's, Whatever Ronda Rousey calls that move, I thought she just drove her head, top of her head, right into the ring, paralyzed. I, I I don't know. It was a cool, it was a weird segment, but it was nice to see somebody different come out. You know what I mean? So yeah, she did. Get, I I guess though they only have like so many options who to like bring out in that spot. Alicia yeah. Fox, they would have used her maybe, but she was drunk. She, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, Arn would have sent her out there. <laughs> yeah. So wait, which event was she drunk at? Yeah, how just a Some house, house show. show, and I guess. I remember reading about. And it, I guess I the which. the booker or whatever you want to call him, the agent, knew it, and still sent her out there. So he got fired, even though he's a legend, Hall of Famer. Arn Anderson, yeah, four horsemen, the enforcer. Uh, so I went. We 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 touched on the shield. We t- we talked about how we think Dean Ambrose. I think he's not going. Why'd you tweet my picture? You think he's going? She's gonna tweet. Oh, we God! Remember last time when she was tweeting a picture? It took yeah. the whole freaking episode. <laughs> Almost and, got it out there. Yeah. Uh, so. I did not like that they were advertising this as the last shield thing of all time. I just don't, I don't know. I feel it like they're being a little too in my face. So you're thinking that's like, it's a swerve. Yeah. And they're going to come kinda, out and they're going to help them slay the beast. At something like now. that. Yeah. And then what do you think of the whole Roman Reigns getting a little headache and having to leave the ring? Are we treating him differently now because of the cancer? Is that what's going on? A headache? Didn't he get hit? Yeah. But like before, Roman Reigns would hit his head on the post and he'd just keep wrestling. Now it's like he hit his head on the post and it's like, uh oh. Get checked out. Get checked out. Was, I thought he was selling the attack from McIntyre. Uh, I think that we were. Uh, you think this is they're, they're selling cancer? They're selling that he's weaker. Like now, anything that happens, it's like, oh my God. That, so that we're going to, he's going to be more human? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's the I way I took that. it. I don't know if people were taking it that way, but I took it and I did not like it. Because I, you know, if we're going to say that. You oh, know, you want Superhuman Roman? I would like that. Yeah, wait, great. we bitched about Superhuman Roman nonstop. Yeah, now but that's who that's who he is. No, what, he's not. What are you doing there? I'm playing Hitting with buttons? the chat. You're good at that. Get people talking. Get people talking here. I can't. They said. Let's see here. Well, we got viewers. Oh, absolutely. I know. Excited. We I'm got aware. six viewers. I'm aware. I don't announce the number on the air. That's good. Six. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> Which, by the way, while we're at this What's point... What's wrong with sorry, six? What's our Twitch thingy? The one they be able to stay can see how many people are Here watching. Twitch.tv <laughs> slash... Oh, God. Same <laughs> as last week. What's wrong with six? I like six. Six is six great. Is six is good. Uh, we are very proud to announce wrestling underscore dorks. <laughs> <laughs> I only say it 20 times a week on every show. Twitch.tv slash wrestling underscore dorks if you're watching or if you're listening. Catch us every Tuesday night at 930 on Twitch where we are now an affiliate. 
which is a very happy moment for us. It was pretty rapid growth, honestly. We've only been doing Twitch since December. So to yeah. become an affiliate that quickly, I'm, I'm in there. pretty happy. I feel like we have a bit of a niche here on Twitch, and I didn't mean to rhyme that, but we did build ourselves a niche, and we've got the numbers to prove it. Um, on this format, you don't need to have droves of people. You just need to have a loyal audience, and that's what we have, and we're happy to have that. Um, I wanted to mention one of our loyal listeners uh-huh. out there, watchers, whatever the hell, between all platforms, Pam a lot. Did you see what she tweeted out? Yes. Jay Lucky, <laughs> did you see Pamela's tweet? Oh, I'm sure she saw it. She probably... Ralph and Valerie's crotch? <laughs> yeah. I just tagged you both in it. Oh. I said, you know you're more interested in your... You know you like it or something like that. Well, I think that that tweet was more for you. But Pamela, thank you very much for sending... She did say, calm down, boys. Finn, Finn Balor dick pic to me on Twitter. That's nice. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. That's a, that, that's a crime here in America. She said <laughs> Balor's Club. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Balor's Club. Very nice, very nice. Why don't you throw some more words in the chat? Maybe people are joining now. I think you can't see old chat. Oh, uh, okay. I thought you could. Nah, I don't think you can on Twitch. Uh, so anyways, as an affiliate now, we're, we're able to bring you more things. Uh, we're able to be monetized. That's the big one for us. But uh, now we can um, grant Rich, subscriptions. Bitch. Yeah, I mean, the money's just flowing in. That's how I'm drinking this fancy-ass beer. Yeah, Sam yeah, got this yeah, fancy-ass yeah, hat. Yeah, you and that all yeah, I mean? it, was, it was a free hat. Oh, I have my this fancy-ass beer. Ass <laughs> microphone. You just have your fancy ass. Ooh. Ah, that's how we'd afford that thing. Um, Wish Dana Brooke were here. Maybe she'd run run that ass down a little bit. I don't know. Jay yeah. Lucky's feisty. She might be able to take her down. Yeah. Yeah. Now that Dana Brooke's all weakened. Yeah, she's <laughs> weak. She's, she's feeble. Weakened. She looked amazing. She's frail and feeble. <laughs> she's fast and she's like nimble. Right. She's nimbly being thrown. Oh, Poor Dana Sam. Brooke. I know. Get off her case. Uh, you're uh, you're on her case. I'm supporting. I'm her. saying she looks amazing. Yeah, because she, you know, you're and she's she quick and she's no. I'm no. She wasn't. <laughs> uh, oh, Jay, lucky you're you're blowing up. Is that you? Okay. Anyways, so next up, I want to talk about Dave Batista, real quick, because we, we I want to save some good Dave time Batista for or the Bautista? bracket. But Bautista, David Bautista, a, Bautista. Known, Bautista, known as Batista. Yes. I didn't like the segment on Monday night between him and Hunter because I don't think they had anything planned. He just kept yelling, give me what I want, give me what I want. It was like there was no... I know we talk about we don't like like scripts, but it seemed like he only knew to say that, and he just kept saying it no matter what Hunter said. He just, give me what I want. There was no like making me hate Batista. Like, he wasn't saying terrible he things. He attacked Richard Fleer. Yeah, but I need, I need more. I need more. What Sam do you want me to do? Sam already hates him. He attacked his best friend. Kill his, his you want mentor, me to kill man. his family? You know what I want? Tell I know this, want, want, this wouldn't make him really, a heel. Really I want him to attack Steph. But that wouldn't make him a heel. Well, I mean, Steph? hitting a woman might. But I'm provoked. Maybe he can like kidnap her. You want or him to beat a woman? Oh, I'm yeah. not saying beat. You got that to look forward to later on. Let me tell you. <laughs> what That's, the I saved that for naked time, you <laughs> asshole. You want him to beat a woman? No, maybe like kidnap harass her. her. Like you mean harass like when her. Triple H did and married her? <laughs> yes. Maybe like harass Is this or do like something. Like AJ Joe thing or AJ. Yeah, yeah, Joe yeah, thing yeah. Like, like going after his wife. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. But yeah. you you didn't like that. But you didn't like this. that. No, I did. It's Samoa Joe. Of course I loved it. Was it was terrible. Everything he does is great. Uh, he turns uh, garbage uh, into gold, baby. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe? Joe. I watched a 20-minute workout video of Samoa Joe the other morning, didn't I? You did. I, <laughs> what? I he did. did. So, he really don't did. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> what? Using pin weights. Yeah, it was him. Doing and, this motion over and over. It was, <laughs> it was him and Seamus. Maybe some oh, of this. Okay. On YouTube. Seamus. Gotcha. It was a Seamus workout video, but it was starring the amazing Samoa Joe. And Joe was showing how he has such strong shoulders. He does these weight things. Now you're doing them. And now I'm doing them. And now I'm... You don't have pin weights. I don't have pin weights, but I'm going to have You something. were doing it with turkey legs instead? <laughs> I'm like, chicken... Wa- <laughs> no, 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 no. What's Pamela have to say? Anything she says, uh, you guys love talking about Finn's pants. Jay Lucky isn't bothered. I, don't, I think that means like... It probably means bothered. something. Aroused, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Is that what that means over there? Yeah, That's so. because they are more aroused than I, I am untrue. by his crotch. <laughs> Because I never even noticed it until they pointed it out. See, that's the lie. That's the lie that we've been 
She's it's been portraying lie. this lie it's since not, October or whatever. She's consistent with it, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, if you're going to stick with the lie, you, you stick with it. I did not notice his crotch she didn't notice. Until you guys start staring at it. <laughs> and now you can't stop looking, can you? No, I hardly ever notice it. <laughs> oh, my uh, goodness gracious. Although in that picture Pamela posted on Twitter. Oh, that's probably the prevalent. first thing she went to, yeah. yeah it's pretty prevalent. It yeah. was a prevalent. It just happened to be prevalent this time. Yeah. But I like how she said, you boys. <laughs> Because <laughs> you two are the ones that notice it all the time. We were just getting, I mean, you getting on your crap. I think you two are jealous of his penis. Who wouldn't be? Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> plus, a, plus, a, plus, he actually probably uses his. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his naked time is without clothes. Uh, so, yeah, you have anything else to add about Dave Bautista? No, Richard no. Flair. I mean, I'm. It's a match. Okay. All right. Well, I we'll, don't know how much we're expecting of it, but hopefully we'll have. Uh, it'll be bit, 45 minutes. That's yeah, for sure. We'll have more to talk about in the coming weeks leading up to WrestleMania. You think they'll do much more before that? Yeah, they'll probably have one more face to face. Yeah. Because Brock's going to be there next week, so they don't have need, need to have Batista. Yeah, the so real then, main event will be there next week. You yeah, excited, Jay Lucky? Brock Lesnar. Yep, he'll be out. And so. Paul Heyman together. Wow. That's so erratic. Are you going to be bothered? That's hot. You're going to be bothered next Monday? She should be bothered. You're going to be There'll bothered. There'll be no being bothered. Bum. I would probably get up and do laundry at that point. <laughs> I, uh, he does nothing. The whole... I need to, They need to get rid of him. I'm done with him. He only makes $12 million a year. Yeah, and what do you yeah. want? And that's that's not bad for a guy who wrestles as much. I mean, he does a lot as for the company. As much as he does. As wrestles as <laughs> He as does a lot for the company, does. you know? It's how you build value for what, yourself. Four times a year poor he gets guy. to wrestle. You got to make fun of the poor guy. You got it. What you got to do is you got to realize your value, and he does a good job about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, speaking of value, he's worth it. Do you want to start talking about our new segment that we've got coming up? Or is there anything well, you mean else? Just doing the segment or yeah. talking about well, it? Well, we'll kind of introduce it and then get into it. This week, we're only going to do a couple matches okay. i'd like to have this try to wrap up by wrestlemania if possible okay um but because we have to do the introduction and talk about things only do a couple matches this week anyways what we're doing with march madness approaching and it starts next week right or is it ne- yeah uh, yep next week yeah the actual yep, bracket yep, for yep, those yep. of you not in the united states that's uh college basketball there's brackets and stuff like that uh tournament we decided to come up with our own tournament and uh, Sam and I went back and forth with a couple different ideas. I talked to a couple other wrestling dorks on the West Coast. And we decided to do our own spin on things. Because everybody does the best of something. Everything's always the best. Who's the best this, the best that. We decided to go with the worst. Foreshadowing this year's WrestleMania. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> this, this year has the, the opportunity to be the worst. We don't have any exact s- s- qualifications but here you go. You see it on your screen if you're watching Twitch right now. The big bracket. The worst WrestleMania card of all time. Uh, what I did, what we did, I should say, we went through multiple sources on the internet and kind of took the consensus. I picked. I needed 16 to do a bracket, obviously, and picked what I was. What we were reading was the most mentioned as the worst. You know what I mean? So some of these only I saw in a couple articles that they were mentioned as the worst. Some of these were unanimous, always mentioned in every single article as the worst. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each matchup, go through it. We don't have to go super in-depth, or we can go super in-depth. Talk about it. If you and I disagree, we'll go to Jay Lucky as the tiebreaker. If she doesn't have an opinion, which is quite likely, (laughs) we will go to the Twitter vote. (gasps) (laughs) What was that? John Cena. What? Did he dive? <laughs> he took a hell? dive. Jeez. Cena doesn't go out. Cena doesn't I dive. I can't wait to watch it on video later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I caught it. You can catch it there. Holy uh. Kamal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cena took a dive. He doesn't even do that. He did off the top rope. <laughs> Hold on. I need to see <laughs> Sam's going to watch it now. Oh, <laughs> crazy. Don't listen, you can't see me. I totally saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Cena would do that off a building. I, <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> John Cena sucks. Why you put him on my crotch, man? Get out of here. He does suck. All right, so let's go. Let's, let's, I'm going to throw a softball at you, a nice easy one for our first first uh, match up here. Am I going to have an opinion? You should have an opinion. You, oh, because you'll be able to hear the hear hear the matches and kind of just get form an overall opinion. It's just tell tell us what you think. All right, first matchup in the top left of your bracket on your screen. We've got WrestleMania 11 versus WrestleMania 25. So WrestleMania 11. Uh, I've got on the screen there for Twitch. It'll pop up for you in a second, Sam. Momentarily. Uh, res- a quick history. 11 was during the new generation 
era of, of WWE. And not exactly the most popular time, but there still could be amazing matches in, in this time. You know what I mean? So I would just want to find the year. I'm sorry. I should have had that. The, the year. year would have been 1996, right? Uh, 95. Okay, because I guess, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have to count 11 years from 85 was the first Yeah, so, months. yeah, WrestleMania 11 okay. was the 11th annual, obviously, April 2nd, 1995. Uh, and as you can see, holy shit, I should have, I wish this was bigger. Main event that night was Diesel versus Shawn Michaels, WWF mm-hmm. championship match. And I can say WWF because I don't work for them. Pamela Anderson? That yeah, that was Pamela Anderson and Jenny McCarthy, I believe, <laughs> yeah, were, I were the two ballets yeah. that walked in the ring because they needed star power. And then the actual main event. Right. Yeah, that was the top match, but the main event of the evening, oddly enough, was a p- football player against a pro wrestler. And that's how big Lawrence Taylor was. Yep. Though, I think, yeah. Lawrence Taylor, the New York Giants, was... Oh, I know who he is. Yeah, against Bam Bam Bigelow. Yep. That's My his... ex, that was his favorite. Really? Lawrence Well, he's a good Taylor. one to... He, he, his, he had his jersey. Co-cad. I only really know that yeah. was. Co-cad. No, but apparently he was amazing when he played football. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he was really good. Yeah. So he was we had good in the Water Boys. Yeah, yeah, main event. <laughs> a main. <laughs> so it was. Uh, was Big he show. in the Water Boy? Yeah. yeah. Which one was he? Which brings me to my next point, kids. Don't. What does he say? Smoke crack. I think he says don't smoke crack. And it's funny because that movie came out and literally like a month before it came out, he got busted <laughs> for doing drugs. Yep. I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple other of the undercard matches then. Razor Ramon versus Jeff Jarrett for the IC title. Luger and British Bulldog. Versus the Blues. The Jacob and Eli Blue, which, I God, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, and they were managed by um, the guy that that just was with um, Alberto Del Rio. When he was with Jacob and Eli Blue, he was like Uncle, they called him like Uncle Zeb, I believe. Zeb Coulter. Okay. He was Uncle Zeb. So that's the first time he was in wow. WWE. Yeah. All right. Bret Hart versus Bob Backlund and I quit match. That was a pretty good match. All right. Uh, Taker uh, hit his. No. God rest his soul versus King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy who passed away since we recorded last. Yes. So the walking condominium. Did you want to have any, do you have any words? Uh, this match actually, um, Bundy went down to a clothesline because I don't think uh, Taker could get him up for the tombstone. Wow. He was a big man. It's 400 something. Build four hundred and fifty eight pounds. Yeah, he was he was large, and he was way younger than I thought. It's only sixty one when he passed. Yeah. Craziness, which means he was wrestling. This he was only like forty when he wrestled this match. Then something yeah. like that, yeah. like yeah, thirty eight. Yeah. yeah, I like how you say only thirty seven. He was oh, yeah. thirty seven at this probably. Yeah, younger than you. And then smoking, <laughs> smoking guns versus Owen Hart and mystery partner, which I didn't even write down to the mystery partner yeah, was because yeah, yeah. who gives a shit? He's not the best guy in the business for nothing. Look, I did a lot of fucking work <laughs> for this. So did you type this up? I did. Yeah. So you typed up mystery partner. I typed mystery See, partner. I thought this was. It would have made more sense if you stole that because you were like, ah, I just. No, you it. know what I did is I actually talked it over and I went back and forth and I was like, I can't steal images. Like I can't steal. But you could give 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 him credit. Yeah, you know how many I would have to do? Because there's not like one site that has the listing in an image form. I could steal text, you know what I mean? But I might as well type it up myself. I'm going to steal text. As you can see, these old cards had way fewer matches. Oh, way fewer matches. It wasn't as big of a... It wasn't... It was still their number one event. Extravaganza. Talking talking to her like she... Celebrities. Yeah, they still had celebrities and everything like that. Celebrity was in the main event for this one. Yeah. But, you know, it wasn't like we have to get everybody on the card like it is now. Probably because there wasn't internet... Smarts like you being like Zack Ryder needs a match of mania. That was that's exactly how you would sound when he's not in it this year. You're gonna yeah. <laughs> he had a great uh, mania moment and they threw yeah, and it's it done. Yeah. He had his moment. He's done. Yeah. Let it go. Drop it. Yeah. So WrestleMania 25. You want to go through the matches there, buddy? Because I can't no, no, read that. No, Zack Ryder's not on the card. I don't care. Yeah, I figured as much. It's probably true. Actually, it's probably how you feel. Yeah. This is crazy to think. This is now 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. WrestleMania 25 is fucking 10 years ago. And it feels like, for me, as a wrestling fan, it wasn't that long ago. So uh, do you want to go through go through your thoughts on this card here? What do you think? Uh, do we even need to? This is a freaking blow. Okay, so you had Chris Jericho. Or I'll start from the bottom. I remember this match. Jericho yeah. versus the Legends. Steamboat, Snooka, and Piper. Snooka and Piper both dead now. Crazy yeah. enough. Snooka. Uh, you know, he's a murderer, he's possibly. Killed, killed somebody. Can't, yeah, we th- we, yeah. I, I guess since he wasn't proven. Uh, not proven, but uh, yeah, he killed somebody. <laughs> not intentionally, I'm sorry. He did kill her, just not intentionally proven. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> this is where we where we saw Steamboat still had it. Came back for a couple matches. It was on Raw then. Yep, yep. Um, that was 
that was fun to watch. And then we had the Money in the Bank ladder matches, which was a thing. Um, if you guys remember, which it I'm wasn't sure a full pay per view, right? After every WrestleMania, that was a big thing, and I think that kind of has hurt me lately, not having that to look forward to. Um, it was kinda. before the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Brothers, right? So, so they kind of used that as a catch all. And the deciding vote is, uh, let's see here, Jay Lucky. No, sir. <laughs> oh, okay, no, 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 no. I'm just he was picking you. on you because you're going over um, the couch. We had the Hardys explode in an Extreme Rules match. That's right, Jeff versus I'm, Matt. I'm gonna uh, skip over Undertaker and Michaels for now. No, I'm good. Um, JBL and Mysterio. The yeah, I see. Miss WrestleMania Battle Royal, I believe, which was won by Santino Morella. Yes. Heavyweight title show Cena Edge, WWE title Orton Trips. And the, the match that stole the show easily, and, and one of the best Mania matches ever. Yep. The, this is this is Taker Michaels 1, correct? I, yeah. I don't know how this is considered on the top list uh, you know, of worst cards. And I don't know if it's just you know, people being snarky or whatever, because it actually sounds Plus like... Plus, we had to have 16. Yeah, you had to have 16. I mean, <laughs> 20 you know, or whatever, 18 of them had to be left off. But you would think this would be in there. But anyways, for me, WrestleMania 11... Way worse. The WrestleMania 11 is consistently listed on everybody's list as one of the worst of all time. Yeah, yeah. There's I'm, no way it beats 25 here. Yeah, 11's worse. Way worse. Easily. The, uh, and even, I mean, Lawrence Taylor and Bam Bam could have been a nightmare, and it was a passable match. Maybe not WrestleMania. Maybe not that. Right, yeah. But, hey, the guy was a football player, and Bam Bam carried him through the match to the best of his Absolutely. ability. Absolutely. So, but, yeah, um... Let's let's do a quick count here. We got Diesel and Sean are both alive. I Lawrence like Taylor somehow alive. <laughs> Bam Bam's dead. Razor Jeff's alive. Luger's barely alive. British Bulldog's dead. Jacob and Eli Blue, I think they're alive. Bret Hart alive. Backlund alive. Taker alive. Kind of Taker alive. He's a, he's a dead man. Bundy dead. Smoking Guns both alive. Owen dead. And mystery partner, he could <laughs> he be could dead. Be dead. <laughs> he could be dead. It could be Fred Ottman, who may or may not be dead. <laughs> and then I already went over Snooki and Piper dead. And uh, yeah. I think everybody else on that card is alive, uh, except maybe there could be maybe some that missed the women's battle royal maybe dropped over dead. I don't know. So, Jay Lucky, we don't need your vote on this one. This was, yeah. a, this was a wash. I mean, 11 is by far. It's going to move up wash in the bracket. A it, you mean a wash washing? Yeah, whatever you call it. Okay. Did you see that ESPN now has a sports betting show? Yeah. Their yeah. first sports betting show. Yeah, I'd like to be on it. You're going to be on I'd it. Like I was actually going to suggest to you. Like, yeah, be like my perfect role. Well, we'll send in your professional That's, broadcasting. Now that it got like passed and every, even though like people were betting forever since I, you know, and now that just because it's legalized, people are like, well, we should have a show about it. They mm -hmm. should have a show about it before. It's just now they I feel like why. it's okay to have one. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next. WrestleMania 20. This is going to be a tough one for you. 24 no, versus this, yeah. 5. This is the one yeah, that's going to break your heart. I might have to abstain even from voting. Well, we'll see. WrestleMania 5 is known for having an incredible main event. Hogan versus Savage. The Mega Powers explode. Great build. Great but main event. I will be honest with you. When Once it pops up on your screen, look at the rest of the card. It's pretty damn weak, in you know, my you opinion. Just, you just don't, don't like old wrestling. That's not true at all. Yeah, it's not, it's true. not true. Now, we were talking about how <laughs> WrestleMania... The best part is, I, I know you made these graphics. So right. <laughs> you used the Hulkster from yeah, WCW? I, yeah, I did. Okay. I just... Because I, I wanted to find just a Hulk Hogan picture that wasn't like too old or too new because he's going to be on a couple of these. Yeah, you know okay, I, mean? I like that. I mean, yeah, because I'm not going back and finding a new Hogan picture every time <laughs> I need Hogan for one of these things. Uh, so yeah, take a look up and down the card. Again, we don't have to go through every single match, but we got Hogan versus Savage clearly steals the show as the top. The how, top. Yeah, how since when is a Hogan match ever like right. considered? But he he came through. WrestleMania five and six were both really good main events. Yep, absolutely. I mean, and this is one of these situations where we were talking earlier how older cards had less matches. This time it has more, and I feel like it hurt the show. I mean, look up and down that card, Sam. What do you what do you think there? Um, I'm trying to remember this. This I have fond memories of this. I remember crying during the main event because I was worried <laughs> that Hulk was going to lose. Oh, yeah. Um, Jake versus Andre. Andre was afraid of the snakes. Brought back Big John Stud to be the referee. Uh, Warrior ravishing Rick Rude. That feud. That's a feud that sticks in my mind. 
Demolition of Powers and Powers of Pain. I believe we had a title change there. Um, and Mr. Fuji was involved. Beefer versus Million Dollar Man. Thank you, Mr. Weaverface, for hosting us right now. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Hacksaw, you, Mr. Weaverface. <laughs> Hacksaw Duggan versus Bad News Brown. There, there's a lot He's of names dead. here. I'm pretty sure Bad News We don't have to go through everybody that's dead. They're all dead. I mean, these are... Bobby the Brain, God rest his soul. Again, this one. Red Rooster, that's right. That They had that. 30 years ago, this one. Yeah. 30 years ago. Rockers. This is amazing. So we're looking at WrestleMania 5, and we see the Rockers versus Twin Towers. Now, right next to it is WrestleMania 24, and we got Shawn Michaels on the card. That's right. So that's that. These Tells cards are 19 was, years apart, yep. and Michael. When he was on just on the last one, the 25, which right, is crazy. Right. So. so I mean, Twin Towers, uh, Boss Man and uh, Akeem, the African Dream. Yeah. Herc versus King Haku, Bushwhackers versus Rougeos. I don't even remember this having this many matches. Yeah, Blue I Blazer, know a ton. Owen Hart versus Mister Perfect, Foundation versus Rhythm and Blues, Honky Tonk Man Hall of Fame, <laughs> and Rugged Ronnie Garvin versus Dino Bravo. Yeah. A lot of matches, and yeah. it was a lot of play. Like I, I put if something had a special st- stipulation okay. too. Like I would put like if it was a hell in a cell or something crazy like that. At least I tried to. It didn't have anything. No special stipulations. No just matches. They built themselves. They had storylines. I don't know how they did. Consider they didn't have Monday Night Raw. No, like they, they didn't need it. I guess because there were only three superstars, three pay per views at the time. Well, and superstars, you never the the good re- the they always just faced jobbers. So it was exciting to see like Rugged real Ronnie guy Garvin. versus real guy. That's true. Otherwise, you had to go to house show to see that. That's true. Uh, so then you, you talk about that one. Tons of guys. Lo- I mean. Was there really this few matches on the Mania 24 card? That's what I had, man. That's yeah. what came. Surprising. On. A lot of these, what I took it from was the back of the DVD. So I guess if there were like really shitty like pre-show oh, matches. Oh, yeah, too. And and it's probably some of those DVDs could leave off stuff. It's possible. Right. But so I'll be honest. I went through backs of DVDs because I don't trust Wikipedia for this shit. So. Oh, I would go Wikipedia over the DVD. Over the DVD. Uh, well, either way. Because Wikipedia people are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this card 24, we had Batista versus Umaga. That's odd. Yeah. It was a Raw versus SmackDown specialty match. Okay. That was when and the then thing Umaga was, was in the another specialty match later on. What kind of porn are you watching? Judge. Oh, she's not denying it. She's getting ready for naked time later. So what this Undertaker was. versus Edge for the title. Yeah. Uh, Maria Canellis and Ashley versus Melina and Beth Phoenix. I tugged on my shirt. Beth Phoenix just came back. Um, Punk versus Jericho versus Morrison do? versus like this. Kennedy versus MVP versus Carlito versus Shelton Benjamin, and that was Money in the Bank, I believe, I assume. I would assume. Yeah, but you didn't put it there because you're a worthless sack of shit. Um, Finley versus JBL, special attraction match, Floyd Mayweather versus The Big Show. Big time. WWE Championship, Triple H versus Cena versus Orton, and, of course... The big one. For me, the big one, Michael's Flair retirement match. I cried at each of these main That's crazy. Years apart. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I remember you telling me the story. You were at Hooters. I was at Hooters, yes. Yeah, when you my cried. Friend Travis, and uh, it was very emotional. The, the, the woman came over to check on us. <laughs> like, not because we're coming, like, do you need anything else? And I'm just like, I need a moment. Oh, I thought you meant she saw you crying yeah. for across the way. I'm like, I need a moment. And she pulled you into her bosom. And she honestly, said, I miss going to, uh, this sounds, I miss going to Hooters for pay per views because it was like, Yes, there was a bunch of losers there, that, well, yeah. but they were, were our losers. among your people. Exactly, they were our losers, yeah. and it was just cool to see all the people like that into it. People would dress up, and like, too, you get a live reaction from the people there because it was like being at an event, kind of. Because oh, you'd see who got booed, who got cheered, yeah. what matches was it dead for, and I kind of miss that. I I think it would be cool. Like I know back in the day they did like closed circuit. Yeah. You know, you had yeah. to go watch with their fans. I do kind of miss that. I I don't think I'm gonna be able to vote on. It. I mean. What what overall card? I mean, WrestleMania I think, five. I, I say five was worse, up, just because it was so event. top heavy. It has numerous Hall of Famers and top notch Hall of Famers on the card. Uh, Twenty four had Michael's Flair, one of my favorite matches. Undertaker Edge is good. Um, Mayweather Show was entertaining for a celebrity match. Yeah, man, I, I'm telling um, you, I think. You can say five was worse and that you just 
no no disrespect to the. I Hulkster. wouldn't put either of these in the in the top six. Five was mentioned a lot. I got to tell you, when I was doing my research, five was on a lot yeah, of people's fuck lists. Fuck you, research. Because I think because of the week, not week, but just it was just full of so many regular one on one matches. You know, there was not a lot of tags. There weren't. There was no money in the bank. There was just. It was. That's how it was back in the day. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make it better. Bullshit. Doesn't make it better. Doesn't make it worse. Yeah. Well. In you know, I, I'm going. Some, sometimes older is better, and other times it's not. Yeah, usually younger is better wait, in that why case. Are you but um, at me? yeah, he said. Wait, he said usually younger is better no in, way, in the case no, of a woman. Not in that case. Yeah. Oh, see, <laughs> she wants you to get an older, older woman. No, I'm just saying, older women. We know what we want. Um, <laughs> and we and they want and short, we fat guys. Like. <laughs> da, da, I'm abstaining from voting, so whatever uh, you vote's gonna win. All right. So Jay, I would vote either you, of these bad. Unless you say, do, do you want to know something? What the Twitter vote was fifty fifty. Was it? It was. Was it? It was. It, it was one? fucking fifty fifty. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> it, it was fifty fifty. I just asked, was it more than one to one? I didn't need to know the numbers. <laughs> I, so we're gonna say WrestleMania five loses this one just because that's what I voted for and Jay Lucky and has I know no opinion. you set this bracket up. I didn't set the bracket <laughs> up. I did not. I just picked. You fuck. <laughs> so WrestleMania five advances in the worst WrestleMania. Yep, okay? Which it doesn't mean it, it is the worst WrestleMania. It just means in this particular case, your vote. Yeah, no problem. My vote exactly. I don't. I don't want to make Jay Lucky have to decide, so I abstain. Thank you. Did you want to look at it and make a decision? No, I'm good. You're good? So well, if I she was, makes a decision, I was, then I was, we're screwed. <laughs> I was beer bitch. I missed some That's of it. That's true. So. Okay. I'm starting to, I, th- I think older is better. I'm starting to think that. But I, I, I do have an older sitting here with me, too. What? So that could be part of it. An older? An older. Did you just call me dun, an older? Dun, dun, dun! That's my trombone for double digit viewers. Whoa, look at us. <laughs> Telling you, it's, if you would be an older, Wait well, a good at like sound effects and stuff, you should have like a horn that we hit when we get double digit viewers. Yeah, I don't know how to do sound. Well, I guess I could. And we're back down to nine. But for a second, <laughs> look we what were you've at done. Ten viewers at the same time. <laughs> Twitch is going to start noticing the wrestling dorks. I'm telling you, it's we've we've got a niche on Twitch, baby. Hashtag niche on Twitch. Uh, so let's move on well, to our last. Another Twitch. card here. Uh, uh, another. I'm starting to see a trend I don't like. God, a Hulkster WrestleMania is <laughs> on here. <laughs> Fuck this guy. It's one versus fifteen. The original WrestleMania against Austin Rock won. This and again, this, that Rock picture clearly was not from WrestleMania 15. It's from like two <laughs> days ago. <Yeah>. But <laughs> again, I didn't want to have to continue to find new pictures constantly. There, you can. I look. love catching your misspellings, like the BG Boss Man. Did I? Yeah. Look at that. Fuck. I was even like really trying. Well, yeah. to be honest with you, I did all these on Saturday, and I was also watching the kids at the uh, at that time. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, and it took me all day, literally all day, I to do just this. Copy and pasted it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so no, yeah. with the paint program I'm using, okay. and not Microsoft Paint. I actually got a graphic thing. Yeah. You can't just copy and paste text without fucking doing layers. Anyways, what do you think here, buddy? Looking at looking at it overall. WrestleMania one could I mean, this this made WWE it is F. and you know I Gee. I don't know <laughs> I don't at first glance you think Mania one is worse but there's a lot of just like kind of like the same thing that happened with WrestleMania five where there's just like a lot of random guys thrown into matches against each other happened in WrestleMania fifteen this was like right when WWF Those took off just random guys there's some legends there like. You know, let's look at the cards. WrestleMania right. one, we got Tito versus the Executioner. We got um, Bruno San Martino's son versus Bruce Beefcake. Yeah. Matt Bourne versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. King Kong Bundy versus SD Jones, where he set the record for a long time with a nine second pin, which was really more like a thirty second, but they called it nine. Yeah, I didn't understand that. But. Um, Andre the Giant versus Stud Body Slam Challenge. This I can remember renting this because I yeah, this happened when we used to rent this too. Yep. So I remember I I would rent it. And I remember watching that match and thinking like, wow, it would have been cool to get one of those hundreds in the crowd. Yep. You know, probably it was probably fake money, but um, then we had JYD versus Hammer Valentine for the IC title. We had the uh, Volkov and Sheik versus Rotunda and Wyndham. What the heck were they called? So the Canon. No, they weren't the Canon Connection. They were the US. Some I forgot the hell they were called. And then we had back in the day. They try to make you think, oh, this is the first time we've ever had a woman's title. Yeah, I know. No, it was the woman's title back at WrestleMania 1 when we had Wendy Richter versus Sweet Leilani Kai. 
And then the main event, when wrestling was crossing over into the mainstream. Yep. Hulk Hogan and Mr. T versus Rowdy Roddy Piper and Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. So our main event at WrestleMania, the first WrestleMania of all time, was just a tag match. Yep. It wasn't for the WWF title. No. Nope. It wasn't like Hulk Didn't Hogan defeats be. all, overcomes all odds. It was just two good guys against two bad guys with a little bit of celebrity thrown in there. Mr. T, a little, I mean, a little bit of celebrity. No, no, but I mean, I'm saying so. Like from the get go, celebrity was used. Rest, that was the thing. WrestleMania immediately, it was from the beginning a, a celebrity type thing. And yep. That's why at this WrestleMania coming up, we have SNL Weekend Update. <laughs> Colin Jost. And the host is Alexa Bliss. It's really fallen apart, hasn't it? It's come a long way. Alexa Bliss, I don't mind that. Maybe she'll show her butt a lot and you'll be fine. I'm not, I don't mind any of Alexa Bliss. Even the front? Yeah, what's wrong with the front? It's all right. I prefer me some Dana Brooke. <laughs> let's go over the 15 yeah, go through 15 i mean 15 has the attitude era legends i mean if you want to say it that way boss man taker that was a hell of a sell when he hung him but yeah <laughs> shane o'mac versus x Pac. we were even having shane o'mac matches back then yep sable versus tory for the title okay <laughs> kane versus trips mankind versus show the Brawl for All final. Brawl for All, one of my favorite things ever. This was Do you remember Bart, that? It Bart was like Gun a boxing. Butterbean. What a terrible idea to put Bart Gun in there against uh, an actual boxer. An actual boxer. Got his head nearly knocked the fuck yep. off. Yep. Um, we had Owen and Jeff Jarrett versus Test and D'Lo Brown for the tag straps. Hardcore Championship, Hardcore Holly, Al Snow. What does everybody want? Head. Head. Thank you. <laughs> 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 what does everybody need? <laughs> So this was in your heyday. Billy Gunn. I mean, it really was. was. All these guys were like, I mean, this you were you were like what, 32 in this one 20 years ago. Woo! <laughs> yeah. No, but seriously, this was this was definitely when you talk about things you watched, this was when you were Yes, this is my like favorite. Oh, ever. you didn't know Road Dog mm-hmm. versus Ken Shamrock versus Gold Dust versus Val Venus for the IC title. And the main event, The Rock versus Stone Cold oh, Steve Austin. Austin. What was that? <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't say hello, ladies? You no, decided to grind I was not, your hips? I didn't want to interrupt Sam. He was talking. Oh, sorry. I was being respectful. Oh, grinding your you. hips is, is distracting the audience. <laughs> yes. They're afraid you're going to throw so something out. What, what do you think funny. here, Sam? I mean, do you go with the nostalgia? They're both nostalgia. Of the, well, yeah, at this point, yeah. They're both <laughs> 20 it's fun. Years Isn't it crazy? We're further away from 15 than 15 is to 1. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. Isn't that wild? Yeah, yeah. wild. Why can be weird? Okay, um, you're like, yay, numbers. Uh, yeah, it's like make us feel even older. It basically boils down to and again. What, you're you're series is tough because when I asked you this on Twitter, you're like, I'm like, is it worse mania, worse car? Those are different things. Like, obviously, to me, like, I mean, like if, I said, if it's if it's truly it's a worse card, uh, then yeah, a lot of these older manias are going to be considered worse just because probably a lot of the wrestling wasn't as good as it is now, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was better because maybe the storylines were built better or maybe they were more important. Like that's the debate. Yeah, that's the debate, man. That's why I mean, that's why I don't want to have any defined rules because we're here to talk. All right. So my vote for between the two of these, what is the worst of the two um, manias WrestleMania 15? Okay. In that case, I'm going to say, I mean, in that case, it should be whatever you think. Well, I, in that case. no, because I was going to say WrestleMania 15, I think, is worse just because Mania 1 still has that, it, it has the history. So I, I wanted to disagree with you, but I, I just, for, you know, for the sake of let's make Jay Lucky make a decision. But I really think too many, be here till you midnight. know what my decision would be. Too many legends in WrestleMania 1, too many, too much, it was built on that. You know what I mean? So I think. In my opinion, even though it's not, WrestleMania one was just too too important to to lose out to WrestleMania five, fifteen. Even though fifteen had a you know two two of the guys over the last you know years that have been the yeah um, Austin Rock characters. Yeah. yeah, but I mean it was Hogan's first major main event, and you can't say well, it was the first main event at all. For yeah, anything, really. yeah. I mean this like made him into a household name. These guys. I guess that you could say this made them into household names too. I mean, this this made WWEF a ton of money. I mean, Hogan was household name probably before. You think? Yeah. 
Dude, you got to go back. I mean, I know you're you're older than me, but you just don't have the historical perspective that I I'm have. I'm not wearing a hat, so yeah. I'm not Rocky. As, yeah. no, I'm not wearing a hat. Rocky yeah. put Hogan a lot into the Thank limelight, goodness. too. So I'm going to go and say that 15 moves on in the bracket. Yep, 15 moves in, on in the the world of the So world. what do we have? It was 11, 5, and 15 are the ones that won? Good, move good on? Yeah. Okay. Because I had to make a different screen for every I possible like 15 outcome. better. <laughs> so our I second... Like 15 better. <laughs> It's I so like funny, like you, you literally did have to make it. I did. I had to make. It's not like we have an actual five, graphics department. What is that? Nothing. What is she she's saying? I know. <laughs> she's talking to the people <laughs> while we're doing I'm talking something. Talking to the people. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> so we've got moving on to the next, the second round next week. We'll do a couple matches next week as well. And Jay Lucky is flirting with the people on the camera. <laughs> so next week we'll have eleven I'm versus five. Agrees with me. And then the winner of two thousand versus twenty three. Mm-hmm. Against WrestleMania, the good 15. news is when when you're when, <laughs> when like the thing you don't want to lose loses, you at least get to talk about it again. Yeah, it moves on. And yeah, that's what I mean. Because <laughs> it actually wins in yeah. this case. So WrestleMania five is the winner because <laughs> you get to talk about it against eleven next week. <laughs> yeah. So that's our that's our bracket. That's how it's going to go for the next few weeks. Hopefully, we'll, this will culminate maybe week before, maybe the week after WrestleMania. We'll see how it goes. I'm thinking probably week after. Uh, because we've got a lot going on, you know, between now and then. Like, we're going to NXT, baby. I heard. Yeah, we're going mm-hmm. to NXT. Dan got his tickets, so we pretty much have to go. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to bring something up uh, We I think we should talk about. I don't know if you have it down here or not. But... I don't have anything on the list. Okay, great. So I'll bring it up then. Um, you know, we got together this past weekend and we watched a uh, pay per view together. Yes. Um, I made picks with you guys since, uh, you know, we didn't make yeah. picks for the podcast yeah. or the Twitch, but you guys always do like a little pool. Um, and while I finished terribly and way back, Me too. Um, it, I at least, I at least knew all the wrestlers were on the card. The woman to my left, um, when she was getting her sheets, <laughs> Listen, didn't my, know one wait, of the wrestlers. Wait, 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 wait. What, she, is my, she, what did she call him? My so son it was, it was made Al- up the sheets, and his handwriting was a little. I'm bashing your son on the podcast. No, no, no. So, so he left the, the, a space in the name, and I had two seconds to complete so my. So one of the matches on Sunday my, night was the revival against Bobby Roode and Chad Gable against Alistair Black and. <laughs> Rico Chet. Rico Chet. Uh, bl- actually, Black Rico Chet. Black Rico Chet. And, Not and Ricochet, for those of you who don't watch wrestling, which I know we have some viewers. The man's name is Ricochet. Yeah. R-I-C-O-C-H-E-T. But Jay Lucky saw Black Rico Chet. And she thought that was a tag team name. And she still picked them to win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, she I picked, I she picked I Rude picked, and Gable. I picked Rico. Did you pick Rico? Yeah. R- Rico Chet. So now, Mr. Ricochet, that is your new name, Rico Chet. Yeah. <laughs> I kept going, who's Rico? Who's Rico? I made sure I wanted to bring that up because I, I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was pretty good. And I was sober and I was fine. I just had two seconds and I looked at it. I'm like, who's Rico? By I'm the like, way, oh. speaking of, oh, did you have something to add there? Yeah. Uh, I heard you <gasps> taking air like someone was going to come Although out. I did, I was in a food coma. I did eat a lot on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, <laughs> dude, we plowed down so much food on Sunday. It was my family birthday uh, and my mom makes this killer lasagna. So I had lasagna meatballs garlic bread i had cake and ice cream speaking of pistachio killer pistachio cake <laughs> pistachio ice cream chips <laughs> she's not done it's gonna be a while <laughs> she made a Dip. fruit tray i had crackers and cheese and fruit <laughs> and <laughs> ring bologna oh and, ring bologna. but because yeah. we had that here yeah that's what i'm saying I and then it. i ate a lot i was stuffed i was in a food coma yeah I blame she's, my food coma. There was no naked time Sunday night. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> not, you don't want to see her naked? No, not with her. <gasps> oh, my God. On your <laughs> birthday. Oh, what the? It, it, wasn't her actual, it wasn't her actual birthday. It wow. was her birthday weekend, though. You're sleeping on the couch. Um, Which one? It's too fantastic. I want to say, you speaking, want. your mom makes a killer lasagna. Well, I heard you make a an Italian wedding soup that could kill people, yeah. according to your children. <laughs> So I got a recipe and decided to double it, but because of what it was, it got really salty. I think what I'm going to say is that your 
doubling skills were probably off because I, I think that's what it saw was. you do some counting this weekend while tallying <laughs> up scores of a cider competition. Oh, my God. That's Listen, right. <laughs> I, that was after tasting 16 ciders. Come yeah, on. Sam came out. Actually, you've been out a lot Yeah, lately. but he missed the cider tasting Actually, yeah, you ever. Been, man, yeah, we had there. a cider tasting party at our friend's house. and It was fun, but was he missed all his actual ciders. tasting. We each got like this much in one glass. That was fun. Of every cider. Of every cider. And then we put, for some reason... You put rankings, <laughs> then you put Jay Lucky in charge, charge of, of adding the them up. <laughs> I didn't ask for the job. This is why mm. the doubling didn't quite work in the recipe. <laughs> like it says here to take five eighths of a cup. She's like, and that doubles to 12 cups. <laughs> salt. <laughs> Send me out for a bag of salt, which just doesn't even exist. I was going to say, speaking, of, she said the word drunk. We're probably going to be drunk all this weekend. So if you'd like to join us at some point. I don't drink, be, but yeah, I mean, you don't drink. You don't drink. I've been out Why are you going to be drunk this weekend? Well, we have nonstop things going on this weekend. Well, we found, every weekend. We found things. This is we the fucking, the, the, the social. No, I want you to come out. We're going to have fun. I, I don't, I possibly. I don't like What did fun. we find for Friday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah, uh, Beverly Hills. Maybe I'll show up and you can decide to leave again. No, it's Dirty <laughs> Penny and um, I don't know. There's a couple bands playing in that. Two tiny bands. Little, oh, little, and little um, Hot Toddies. Those are both good bands. So, anyways, that's Friday night, and then Saturday, I really want to go see a band play. Uh, oh yeah, didn't you? In Northeast uh, Tap Room. Uh, didn't you invite uh, Mr. Marlette? Yes, that? I invited Papa Marlette, and I he's ghosted heard me. back from him. He's ghosted me. I love me. how your family ghosts you. Yeah. That you text one thing, and either your brother. Pat, I did tell or your dad just decide not to, or your mom actually they I all said, do it I said to Pat today I was like I think that it runs in the family because you do it too and he just put haha and that was it like it, it no, does run the family you have the Marlette sweep but you thing. do it too so you're just <laughs> as guilty do it what are you talking about I can Marlette ask you sweeps. I can ask you a question and you're like shit she asked me about that what's the next thing she's gonna text and then I and you're like oh it's the second thing and not the first what are you talking about when do I do that that's why you better don't double text them give yeah. them t- let them yeah. this is made up made up bullshit I don't do that or I don't like, do that I'll ask him a question and he'll lie, but he'll look at Sam and be like, right, Sam? That was years ago. That was years <laughs> ago. <laughs> we were doing the podcast at the point, so. I, well, we've been doing this almost three years. Come on. Yeah. Well, Sam, don't ask him two Sam. questions when the first one's like, what do you want for dinner? And the second's one, hey, do you want naked time tonight? He's only going to answer the second one. Yeah, naked one. time always wins out over dinner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Could be Except anything. for after she eats a lot of food. Then <laughs> yeah. you want nothing but to do Apparently not, you jerk. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you, you have a hard time moving around. Your belly's full of food. It's looking all large. Yeah, you know how we feel after like nacho night, which yeah. is like every other night in this house. <laughs> I like how they turned from you're fat to, I mean, we, honey, we. <laughs> well, no, that. I mean, you know how it feels. No, when you like got a lot of food. You're looking like Dana Brooke before. <laughs> Pre, yeah. <laughs> pre starving yourself. Yeah, pre starving yourself. So, yeah, anything that you want to join us for this weekend, you kind of just give us the text. Try yeah, to make uh, it three Saturdays in a row. Is over. Um, I had my last basketball game this past week. So, uh, yeah, I should be. I don't know what else is going up. on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Saturday. I'm still trying to get my you don't dad have to, to come out. leave your car anywhere. We could pick you up. Yeah, I like to leave my car places, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam lives an exciting life no matter what he says on this podcast. Yeah, I know. He fucking lies so much. I, no. He, he has he, an extremely exciting life. Extremely life. exciting. I got back. My friends never can go out, so I was so excited Saturday mm-hmm. night because they were out. Like since earlier in the day, so I met up with them. I got home from the Philadelphia basketball game, like eleven thirty. I quick slugged down a double at one place, then went over to another place and slugged down five more doubles and got That's fucked like, up. He's always hours. telling us he has no friends, and we're always seeing. He tells us he does nothing. Sam's oh, in the background of somebody saying, "Blah blah blah." Oh, yeah. I, I got trash. I'm and then sorry. he goes out, and then like the past few weekends, oh, I had to leave my car here. I left my. I car was out there. with you guys the one remember, fucking time. I don't even remember I didn't where have to I left leave my it. Car. I fucking forgot that I parked it in another parking. <laughs> he lot. lost it. He didn't leave it. He lost <laughs> it. Yeah. I, I was I was very excited you came out for my birthday. Yeah, I was planning on I was driving super home. excited. I just forgot I moved my car <laughs> and then I nearly froze to death. <laughs> I wasn't that drunk. I mean, I could have driven home. It's close. The other night, I oh, if I would have tri- tried to drive home, I would have killed myself. And <laughs> many other people. Well, Saturday. Fully, you were smart yeah. enough to get an Uber. Yeah, I Uber. Yeah, I Uber. Well, is that what we're going to do? We don't have to talk about it on the air, but we got to talk about what we're going to do in Brooklyn mm-hmm. for NXT. 
Yeah, I know. The you're dorks are descending. Things no, out. You, I'm, I don't want. It's not the king the plan. of plans. I need to know what's going on because I told like you plans. before. I yeah. have to know if I. Do you have, have your itinerary? <laughs> yeah, like at seven forty-two, I plan on doing this, and at eight fourteen, I'd like to do this. And mm-hmm. around eleven, we could stop for a pee break, and maybe we can get a drink <laughs> around twelve oh six. I need he to know. Plans in P breaks. He probably does. He is one of those P break planners. I need to know if we're going to drive for two point three four hours, and then we're going to stop for a P break, which you have exactly <laughs> one minute and thirty six seconds to complete, and then we need to get back in the vehicle. I need to know if we need to get <laughs> kid coverage the next day because she works the day I after do work NXT. The next day. And I needed to find out, do I need to ask grandparents Personally, to watch I the kids? I think you should go early, have fun, enjoy your whole day with Dan and Emily, which is, Dan is the third, fourth, what do you call him? The other wrestling dork. The other yeah. wrestling dork. The other white mate. Yeah. That way you can spend time with him. That's You're true. not going to get to see him on Saturday. At least Friday, you'd have a yeah, whole day to spend with him. Yeah, I didn't tell you. He told me, the, I guess his brother's flying in Saturday afternoon. I think you should spend a whole day like with that. them. Enjoy a whole day with them. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Can you take off work? Yeah, I could take off oh. work. I mean, that's no problem. You could do I'm just saying the point to me is like, if you're not, if you're trying to come home that night, you're going to have to change whatever you do during the day because that means no belligerentness <laughs> and that show gets over around 11. You could 11. have belligerentness during the day, but like closer to when you're leaving, you got to yeah, start. Yeah, if you go like that though, then you're going to be super tired driving yeah, home. but John's good with that. He's good with this. Sobering oh yeah, you're right. No, f- he is no fun, John. I forgot. No, yeah. he's good with sobering. Hey, up when he all right. To. It sounds like we're coming home, folks. Oh, <laughs> do you want to spend the night? He said you didn't care. Uh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, folks, we're, uh, you maybe know he's telling. Wait, 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 Sam. Takeover. Maybe I'm getting the wink, or you're getting the wink. He's not. I'm not supposed to know. No, every time I bring it up to him, he says he doesn't care. I don't, but it, uh, it, I, if you, but, you, but it sounds like you do. I, I mean, but it sounds like you do. Well, <laughs> I. You're like, I don't care, but I just have the you do though. It sounds like I just need to know. I mean, if we stay over, that's fine. I just saying, need to tell her dad that he's watching the kids in the I'm morning. Just saying you, well, uh, I have to see if he can. Maybe right, I'm right, telling right. him. I but have to see. The show's over at eleven. We're going to not get out of there instantaneously because we're in Brooklyn, New York. Well, yeah. Best case scenario, you probably get into your car. And get onto an actual road, probably eleven thirty, eleven forty-five. And that's and I was still thinking, I was still considering driving to Dan's place where he's staying, parking there, and Ubering over with them to where everything's at. Right, because who knows what the parking situation will be? I'm just saying, you know, you're planning on getting home after two o'clock, and that means two. I know, yeah, I have driven late too, and I can say I can do the same thing. Right. That you're, I'm just saying, it's going to change the the feel of the day. Is what I'm saying. Knowing that you have to leave after Knowing the event. Knowing that you have that Odin. Odin. What the fuck? I didn't even know a word. <laughs> what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> burden. Odin. Greg Odin? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> that burden on your shoulder. Like, ah, shit. All right. Well, we got to get It's 8 o'clock. I better stop drinking. Or it's right. 9 o'clock. I better yeah, stop. And then we gotta the only go thing around. is, it's like $400 We're, to stay in New York for a night. Well, no. He was looking Look, today. Seems where you get your information. Well, no. I looked it B&B's up. Well, Marriott. Remember, I'm yeah, Mr. Yeah, Marriott. Mr. Marriott. Yeah, yeah. So it is $400 for Dude, Marriott. We could get an Airbnb. If we, and especially if we don't stay right across. You get an Airbnb for 100 bucks total. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm just saying. If you're going to do it. My thought is, you know, you'll probably have more fun if you stay over because you, granted, you have to get up the next morning and drive home, but you're, right. it's after a sleep, you know, instead of fighting us both fighting to stay up on the ride home and, you know, <laughs> possibly crashing and dying. Right. Or, I mean, that I don't worry about. I, yeah. I don't, I don't mind dying. I mean, yeah, I can who's going to miss us? Swerving into a pole intentionally, but, you know. <laughs> Yeah, actually, so anyway, don't 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 put me behind the wheel. We're I'd be up, like, well, that's it. We're up on ninety minutes here. Yeah, sorry everybody, didn't mean for that all to be in the show. But anyways, catch us every Tuesday night. Now catch us every Tuesday night, nine thirty p.m. Eastern. We usually do. The bracket kind of slows things down, yeah. but we want to talk wrestling because our fans do also want wrestling. They yeah. want a little bit of both. So, anyways, every Tuesday night, nine thirty Eastern time on Twitch. Uh, what? Follow her at J Lucky Sunshine on Twitter. Send her pictures of Finn Balor's crotch. She loves it. Follow him at the Real Ass Cab for nothing right now. Nothing, nope. just thoughts. Just thoughts. Good old fashioned thoughts. <laughs> we got a question from Pamela. She Uh-oh. said, "Did I go to the Hogan meet and greet?" Oh shit. no, I did not. I did not go, Pamela. Um, 
None of the 10 friends I invited could go for various reasons. So, uh, yeah, I didn't go. So that's the answer to your question. All right, keep closing. He doesn't want to talk about it because he gets emotional. No, 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 I'm not he emotional. He may cry. If you're listening to us on one of the podcast formats, you can catch us on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and Spotify. But really, you should be watching us on Tuesday nights on Twitch because there's really right. there's, there's nothing else on Twitch. You can even catch us after SmackDown. We usually go till 10.30 or 11 like this. A little bit of a late start tonight because Sam fell asleep at Wawa or some, something. But uh, we do appreciate... it. start it. Huh? I thought you'd just start without me. Nah, it wasn't worth it. Plus, we were late getting home, too, So from trivia. <laughs> We got sixth place tonight. I was, gonna ask, card. I was gonna ask you guys, like, do you ever do any good trivia? And then I figured, nah, they no, no, we got sixth place. Sixth, wow, we won good. ten bucks, I think. Sixth is ten. We're bucks? We're getting a pizza next time. Yeah. Why sixth? Ten bucks. What's fifth? Twenty. Why is there a hundred teams? <laughs> Why are they paying six teams? <laughs> I don't know, but what kind of millennial participation <laughs> trophy <laughs> bullshit is this? And I got a trophy out of it too. What's Anyways, first place get. I we wouldn't know. Oh, we're yeah, <laughs> we'll yeah. never gonna get there. Come on, Are you kidding me? Who'd you team up with tonight? Uh, Rose and I think some family members of hers. Rose, her husband, and her niece and nephew. Something like that. Yeah, dumb people. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, dumb people. Great. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching and listening to the Wrestling Dorks. We'll catch you next Tuesday evening. Oh, see ya later. Jeez. <laughs>